guests if they'd like to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff, so very, very much. And I am absolutely delighted to be here today. And I mean that so sincerely. As you all know, I've been a lifetime voter. And so I have a very special interest in making sure that our uh, recreational boaters and commercial boaters, et cetera, are all safe out on the uh, waterways. And we've had a uh, very good experience uh, here on Lake Sinclair and on the Clinton River and in this area over the years. Uh, but in order to keep that kind of safety record up, you always need to have new resources. And so first of all, I want to thank the uh, Marine uh, Division here in the Macomb County Sheriff's uh, Office. As I said, they've had uh, just a great, great run over a number of years. and. Uh, under the leadership of Sheriff Wickersham and his Marine Division here, and I expect that to continue. I also want to recognize the uh, Marine Reserves, uh, some of who are here today, uh, Tony Viviano, and the uh, John Kaczynski, and, and others. They're sort of the unsung heroes uh, of, uh, of the Marine Division here. <coughs> A force multiplier, if you will, uh, for the Sheriff's uh, Division here, and they, uh, they're volunteers, and they take their jobs incredibly serious, and, and I know they do a great job. Uh, but it really is all about team. And uh, with the Coast Guard, who's represented here today, uh, and, uh, and the CBP, uh, whose vote is uh, just behind us here, the Customs and Border Patrol, uh, one of the things that we have learned as a nation is we uh, need to share resources and we need to share information. And uh, there's no one uh, agency that has, the, uh, uh, has everything and has the ability uh, to really be able to uh, do what they need to do uh, effectively without working together as a team. And that's uh, what is demonstrated here today, I think. Certainly it was teamwork in, uh, in getting this grant, this port security grant, and as some of you might know, I'm the vice chair of the Homeland Security Committee uh, in the House, and uh, under that we have a number of different subcommittees, and, and the subcommittee that I chair is the subcommittee on uh, borders and on maritime. <laughs> and uh, so our, our particular subcommittee has jurisdiction over customs and border protection under Border Patrol, ICE, uh, and the Coast Guard quite frankly, and so uh, we're, the Homeland Security is the umbrella uh, agency under which uh, all of these various agencies uh, fall are, and the oversight responsibilities that we have, we take very seriously. And so I'm well aware of this particular uh, grant, the uh, uh, Port Security Grant, and I will tell you that the Homeland Security, the Department of Homeland Security, just doesn't give these grants out to anybody. They, they really go through a very exhaustive uh, uh, process to make sure that uh, where they are giving these funds that they are going to be able to utilize to be able to utilize effectively they like to see a team effort in a region they see that here in Macomb County and again they knew that this uh, this vote will be a force multiplier and uh, if you think about the very long liquid border that we share with our wonderful neighbors and friends the Canadians uh, it is important that uh, we hold up our end of the bargain over here and uh, there's a program <coughs> called ship rider uh, that the United States Coast Guard entered into uh, with the uh, Royal Mounted, our counterparts in Canada. And it really emanated right here in Lake St. Clair on the Detroit River and the St. Clair River right in our immediate region. And this, uh, this boat here uh, that, we, uh, that we're here to celebrate today, the first of three, uh, will be an integral part again, uh, as I say, a, a force multiplier. And when you think about the Clinton River and Lake St. Clair, Lake St. Clair is the busiest freshwater lake in the entire nation and I would venture to say in the entire world, quite frankly. And, uh, you know, anybody that's been out there on a Sunday afternoon doesn't need a statistic to know that. Uh, they, see, uh, they see what's happening. And, you know, we think about uh, pure Michigan and how, how blessed we are to live here. The kind of weather that we could have rolling in later on today is the reason you need a boat like this. I was just out on that boat, and the sheriff articulated very well some of the uh, dynamics on that boat, the kind of equipment that it's outlined, uh, uh, equipped with. But when you take a look at the uh, way that thing is built, the welds on there, uh, the kind of equipment that was used and how they built that boat, uh, that boat is made for, uh, it's an all-weather boat. That's an all-weather boat. And uh, it is going to be able to, uh, uh, I don't care what, I don't care what kind of weather the weather god sends us here. Uh, that's, you know, when that kind of weather rolls in is usually when you need a boat like that to go out and uh, search and rescue, uh, what have you, help uh, boats in distress, or again, to be able to help uh, secure our border here, and so all of those things are going to happen with uh, with the kind of vessel that uh, that we've gotten here today. And again, it's all about team. Uh, certainly, myself and Congressman uh, Levin were were very happy to uh, participate with letters of support and talking to FEMA about this grant, and our, our United States senators as well, both uh, Levin and uh, Senator Stavenal. We we all work very closely with the uh, Marine Division here, and the Board of Commissioners who participated with their 25 percent. Uh, they they 
they bucked up here. They came up with uh, with some uh, additional cash as well. So it really was everybody working together, and uh, and that is absolutely what it takes. So I'm just uh, delighted to be here, and uh, I came sort of uh, casual because uh, I didn't want to just come to the press conference. I needed to go see the boat, <laughs> and uh, I was happy to be on the boat. I, I wonder how fast the boat would go. I knew if Tony Viviano was at the helm, it'd be uh, it'd be right up there uh, doing a rooster tail off Lake St. Clair. But anyway, it is a it's a great uh, it's a great <coughs> vessel, and uh, we're we're looking forward to the next two uh, coming as well, and, and keeping our waterways here uh, very safe and secure. Thanks very much.